Snapshot here. Another uh, F-16C Viper training video on the uh, alignment with the INS, the Hemix, and now we're going to see what happens. Well, we screw up the uh, we screw up the ground alignment. So uh, if we uh, turn it over here to off, and uh, we go back to norm, but uh, oh well, shit, we just you know accidentally start moving and it screws up our alignment well it's not the end of the world I mean we can get airborne and fix this uh, we're gonna go ahead and punch it on up up here and we're gonna get the airplane up in the air of course 268 we know that's not correct we know our everything's gonna be off everything's gonna be all completely out of whack so let's get up here let's get our gear pulled up and let's get get the airplane well we don't even have a flight path indicator to to level out against well okay well we'll just go up here and hit altitude hold and uh we know generally we were on a course of about 240 because that's what we took off on so what we want to do is we want to just level the aircraft out and get her flying straight and level I'm going to come down here and hit in-flight alignment. And what's going to happen is it's going to come up. It's 146. Well, we know that's not right because we were heading at uh, 240. Our, our runway heading is 240, so... We're going to have to readjust that. The alignment usually takes about three and a half minutes to complete, but the thing is you got to you got to get your airplane staying true and uh, level for it to work. So we may have to do this again because our airplane is not staying true and level. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use our heading knob and we're going to go heading select on the autopilot that'll keep us straight and we're going to cancel the ground alignment by going back to off and give it just a second or two now we're going to go back to align and we're going to go in flight alignment Well, that's not going to work either. Now you can see everything's coming back into a line after we steadied the airplane up. The key is 
you have to hold the aircraft steady. It has to, it has to be straight and level when you do this. If it's not, it will not work. Like I said, it usually takes about three and a half minutes to get this done. The only thing we're concentrating on right now is just keeping the aircraft level and straight. The ground, ground or the uh, in-flight alignment will take care of itself. It'll tell us it's aligned. So now we have an alignment uh, sign down there on our lower left-hand side. And is this going to be absolutely perfect? No, it's it's not going to be perfect as a uh, a ground alignment, but it'll get you close. So now that the align has went away, we can go ahead and change our alignment back to nav. And that's how you do an in-flight alignment. You can do it the wrong way or you can do it the right way. And we continue back on our course. All right, I mean, if you want to make it really simple, just turn around, land, and redo your alignment again. So now that we have everything back aligned, we're going to continue on course and get back up and go make our bombing run. Well, that's it for this, this session. This snapshot with the Republic of Texas. Y'all have a good day.